Hello guys and welcome to the uh, first uh, episode of our Leicester City Football Manager series or career or whatever you want to call it. We're going to start off by uh, just saying that you chose Leicester as you probably seen. Uh, Leicester had, uh, but I just checked it and Leicester had 7 votes, Fulham had 6 and Man City had 4. Um, but it's gonna be really, really interesting to see what we could uh, possibly do with um, Leicester in terms of like surviving this year. Let's just start off by uh, meeting the Vishai Srivar. Oh yeah, I'm totally not gonna provide uh, even try and uh, guess his uh, name. Uh, yeah. uh, no, I don't feel the meeting is required. No, in all honesty. I would rather focus on uh, Craig Shakespeare. Well, that's a funny name, you see. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what can we possibly do this season in terms of um, signing more players, because I don't think we have the best squad. Uh, but I'm gonna play, uh, I'm gonna show you my formation. There's not gonna be any matches this episode. Uh, then, um, next episode is gonna cover. Um, I think August and transfers and so on and so forth. I'm just gonna introduce you to the series now. I'm gonna show you what tactic I think of playing, what players I'm gonna think of playing, uh, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, setting up opposition instructions. Uh, let me focus on other things. I don't like doing press conferences. Uh, I also, uh, no, I don't think I'm happy with the situation at the moment. And uh, yes, that is it. So. Uh, we have season expectations. Attempt to avoid relegation. Yep, 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 yep. So, uh, let's see. I'm gonna avoid being relegated, uh, which probably I'm gonna get relegated, but let's not think. Um, presenting stat statistics on goals. Best players, Esteban Cambiaso. Well, he is good. He's good. I'm gonna definitely use him, and I'm thinking of playing a formation with um, him in a, a kind of a more advanced role, not kind of a CDM. But uh, we're gonna, yeah. Basically, that is uh, kind of the formation I'm gonna be playing. Let's see now. Uh, I think my fullbacks are gonna be on automatic wide midfielder. No, I'm gonna play with wingers who are on support. I want central midfielder who is gonna be a ball winning uh, midfielder and a deep lying playmaker on support of course uh, the uh, ball winning midfielder is gonna be on depend uh, uh, this guy no wait wait just wait he's gonna be a winger on attack so yeah this is how probably my uh, formation is gonna look we have an attacking minded uh, attack force of course Let's see, advanced forward, yeah, kind of advanced forward, and a deep lying uh, forward who is gonna be a uh, on support, on support, definitely on support. Now, let's see, uh, I think I'm gonna play a counter-attacking football, of course, structured, I don't think, uh, I'm not gonna allow my players to do more than they should do. I mean, you should do your job, if you're a defender, you should do your job, if you're a midfielder, you should do your job, and if you're a striker, you should do your job. I want to be a disciplined team. Um, and play like uh, play exactly by the book, if you know what I mean. So let's start in by um, playing out of the fence and passing it to space. And, uh, you know that's uh, gonna be probably um, why I'm gonna what I'm gonna try. I also I'm gonna try and play a uh, higher tempo because you know if you're a counter-attacking team, you should uh, distribute the ball faster. So we have uh, Danny Simpson, of course. Uh, Wes Morgan and uh, Liam Moore. I'm gonna try and uh, develop Liam Moore and hopefully uh, find his, find him a partner in uh, the future. Because you know he's gonna become good, good, uh, very good player. So we have uh, Paul Konchesky, you know, uh, a former Liverpool player. Not much. He didn't play much, but uh, yeah, he played at Fulham. I remember him at Fulham. You know. And uh, now he's playing at Leicester. So we uh, have our defense set up. That's gonna be my probably my defense. Uh, not probably. That's gonna be my defense in terms of like league players, because you know I'm gonna rotate the squad and so on. Uh, is this? Yeah, of course. Riyad Mahrez. I I just 
like this guy. I don't know what it is about him, but I just like him. He has so much directness in his play. He's just so good. I mean, he's gonna be on attack, of course. My brain is gonna be on attack, and um, I wanna, I wanna see him score a lot and make a lot of assists, cause I'm expecting him to do it. He's such a direct player. Uh, I like those kind of players, you know. Uh, oh no, bowling midfielder on defending. So yeah, let's see. Ball winning midfielder is definitely gonna be uh, Esteban Cambiaso and our deep uh, line playmaker. I think uh, could Andy King possibly? Yeah, let's see his technique. Yeah, he could possibly do it. Lo a roaming box to box deep line. Yeah, uh, he could possibly do it. But I'm gonna think of like signing more players because those players at the moment are just not the best we could have. So we have our target man who is gonna be Ujoa and our uh no this was supposed to be the target man no what the fuck wait a minute wait a minute not a target man i want um no i just want a target man who is on attack and advanced forward on oh yeah so uh joe is gonna be our target man and our advanced forward is gonna be david nugent because uh you know David Nugent is uh, good. I mean, you know what he's capable of. Uh, I've seen him play for uh, Portsmouth, I think. And uh, since he's been on Le at Leicester, he scored a lot. Uh, so, basically, yeah. Uh, so, we just have to think and uh, do the distribute. Hmm, distribute, distribute quickly, and distribute to, distribute to, to fullbacks, distribute to fullbacks, so, we have our uh, left back, cross aim, um, also I'm not gonna get uh, too much complicated here, just some basic uh, things, uh, yeah, so I can't just, uh, I think I'm gonna fix that later. Uh, so, let's uh, do this. So, we're gonna play DC United. A lot of injured players, you know, that's not good. Uh, I think I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have some players come from the uh, under 21s. Let's see, Tom Lawrence. Uh, yeah, he's gonna come to the first team. If you guys uh, have some suggestions, feel free to, uh, of course, suggest and. Um, you know, because I'm gonna look into your comments and uh, see if you actually have something to like say, and I'm gonna take your advices into consideration, because uh, some of these advices might actually help me. So, uh, where do I think? Uh, where do I think I need some reinforcements? So, Mares uh, is gonna be good. I think it's gonna be actually very good. But my main, main, uh, hmm, I don't know, I don't know actually, uh, I'm actually thinking of signing a um, quality midfielder, but, you know, how much budget, oh yeah, I have uh, 11 million, hmm, so guys, if you have some suggestions, please, 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 um, feel free to suggest me any players, I mean, any, any players, I like, uh, uh this guy, but I think he's gonna be, yeah, he's gonna be expensive, and as fuck, but let's see, make an inquiry about him, and, um, just scout him, so I also am using this, uh, fate those faces of uh, like DF or I don't know actually what their name is but uh, here we have some good players of course some of them are really really expensive and uh, yeah I'm not and I'm not actually prepared to pay that much for uh, any of these players you know Tyler Blackett he's definitely not worth uh, 6.5 million because the last time he played lesser Mold United uh, 5 uh, 3, which shows you that he's not uh, that good of a defender, if you ask me. But uh, you know, players do have their bad days, 
And, uh, hmm, this guy is just a tank. A real tank. If you don't know what a tank is, this guy is a tank. Oh my, and, um, let's see. Let's see, James McLean, Mark Milley, Isa, Lee Chung Kyung. So, some of these guys are actually good, but I don't know what positions do I need to strengthen so far. I mean, yet. Because, uh, you know, I have a good squad, maybe a good first team who could possibly, like, um, let's say, survive. Uh, but that's a harsh one. I mean, that's a strong thing to say that we're going to survive. Because I don't know yet. But this guy used to be a striker, you know. I remember him being a striker. But I think Nigel Pearson actually... <laughs> um, Turned him up, or uh, I forgot the word. He basically made him a left back, you know, because yeah, basically made him a left back. So we have a uh, Premier League experience in Danny Simpson, we have Premier League experience in uh, Nugent, in uh, Cambia. So we have a lot of experience. We have one player who has won the Champions League, you know, played at Real Madrid, you know, that's. That's big, you know, and that could possibly uh, help us. And uh, we have Schmeichel, who of course is a former Manchester City uh, player. He did play a game from. He did play several games for Manchester City, but uh, at the end of the day, he was so. We also have a lot of uh, primary experience in Koncheski, so I think we could survive if if we play to the best we have. We could survive. So yeah, guys. If you uh, want to meet, uh, if you want to suggest me some players, feel free to suggest any players you want. Uh, this guy is cool. I mean, I like him. Could possibly use him. I'm actually thinking of signing a left midfielder. I'm gonna sneeze. I just don't know when. Let's meet the players first off. Uh, I think they presented to me. Uh, I think I drop and stay in this division. How the fuck can you be too ambitious about? Not being relegated. Oh my god. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. I mean, Chris Wood, you ain't gonna fucking play, boy. Oh my god. It's so bad. It's so, so bad. So, 5 million between 5 million and, um, hmm. Let's see, could Bolasi probably, yeah, he could play here. Uh, let's make an offer for Yannick Bolasi. I'm gonna probably suggest like giving them three and uh, something million and like a million and a half. And how much does that make him? Well, it is acceptable, you know. Oh, uh. Leicester training camp, you know, choose them, auto select them. Some of the injured players are not gonna be uh, going. I think we have a lot of young players who could uh, be the core of our team in the future. Like, we have Mares, uh, who is not that like old, I think he's 20, 23, yeah. Uh, we have Schlopp, we have King, we have Moore, we have Schmeichel, who is uh, like at a good goalkeeper age, 27 till 32. Two, three, they could play. Uh, we also have, you know, uh, let's see, who do we have? Oh my god, uh, Knockart, who is also a very good player. I'm gonna use him, but he uh, is uh, probably gonna play him in like this uh, position a lot because uh, he does not suit the style I have at the moment because I don't have a AMC. I could possibly make something like that, but. Uh, it's gonna be in uh, some different games. Yeah, so, uh, if you guys did like the episode, if you have some suggestions, feel free to fully, fully suggest them. Uh, you also um, could, uh, like, uh, tell me what I could improve in my tactic, or what, uh, if you played with Leicester, what was, uh, like, the best thing you get got out from, like, several players, who, who was your best players, and so on and so forth. Yeah, guys. I'm gonna leave you now. I'm gonna see you in the next episode where we're gonna cover the uh, month of. Um, well, the England looking. Uh, yeah, uh, excuse me. 
I uh, got messed up, so uh, yeah, we're gonna cover the month of August. Uh, so we have uh, three games and the Capital One Cup four games, and uh, oh, it's tough, man. It's so fucking tough. We have Arsenal, we have Tottenham, we have Man United. We have Everton, Chelsea, oh my god, oh my god, uh, I mean, these games like Sunderland, QPR, Stoke, Aston Villa, West Brom, West Ham, Burnley, Swansea, Hull, these are the six pointers, these are the games I have to win if we want to stay in the division, if I don't win those games, I'm definitely out, baby, so, if you guys like the episode, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye-bye.